ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and finally it's that time of the year again when mercury is retrograde yes 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 finally mercury has gone into retrogression for the last time in 2018 hopefully <laughs> in the sign of scorpio where it is conjunct jupiter and after 15th november it is also conjunct sun the planet of vitality and the planet of ego the planet of power authority domination all right so we will see how this is going to affect us on a broader spectrum we cannot see individually because that will depend on the individual horoscopes for every human being it will be different but general in a, on a generic sense we will study what will go on and how to see this all right so there you go if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding this mercury retrograde or anything else then you can go to my website you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he might appear when mercury is retrograde and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested in mercury retrogrades because there was a girl in my town here she had some preliminary knowledge of astrology or i would say she had no knowledge but still she used to tell me that oh yeah mercury is retrograde and i'm like how do you know that <laughs> because mercury retrograde is so famous that even those people who have no information no knowledge or no interest in astrology when they keep knowing this because it happens so frequently generally it happens three times and sometimes maybe it happens four times also if it is in the junction of the new year or the end of the year so now what happens is a retrograde planet is the closest planet to the earth so whenever a planet is retrograde as i said in my venus retrograde video which i posted on friday i mean the venus direct video the retrograde planet is like imagine when you open the door of your house you see there is a man standing and due to some reason or the other you cannot avoid that man now that man may have a letter in which he may say that you are under arrest or he may say hey you have 1 million dollars <laughs> so depending on our karma our dasha and our existing horoscope and planets in scorpio the results of mercury retrograde will vary but whenever mercury turns retrograde all the significations become very prominently visible in our life they become lively in our lives okay the natural significations which means that we will start thinking about making notes we will start thinking about documenting things we will start thinking about sending mails we will start thinking about booking tickets it's the ruler of gemini which is the third house all the communication is under mercury and we also start thinking seriously in front of our in the career front now you'll be thinking why career because it rules the sixth house virgo no not because of that is that is one reason that's work but it is the karaka for the 10th house mercury is the karaka for the 10th house so whenever mercury goes retrograde we become very serious in matters of our career now for some people that may be entrepreneurship that may be jobs or that may be business or anything like that okay so now when a planet goes retrograde it shows that it is forcing us to see the mistakes which we do always because that man who is standing outside he's like look you always do this mistake but this time i will not let you go so because of that what happens is whenever mercury goes retrograde if we are careless provided we are careless we will make certain blunders for example the blunders which we can make is like we can send the mail to somebody without writing the subject this always happens at least it happens with me i don't know if it happens with anybody else and then we can sometimes uh, send a mail put the subject but we may not put the attachment the attachment is missing it has happened with me many times when mercury goes retrograde or there's the uh, we we take a pen suppose you have an exam you have a pen but you are confident that it will last till the end of the exam but the pen doesn't last suddenly 
in mid of the exam it stops writing so if you are having an exam till 6th of december okay because mercury is going to be direct from december 6th so during that time till that time if you're having an exam make sure 10 times you check your pen your refill your notebook everything else then if you have a flight between 17 to 6th then there can be delays in the flights cancelling of flights flights can be rescheduled if you are booking tickets there's a possibility that instead of 9th or 10th you book it on 8th or 11th that can happen instead of <coughs> am you could type pm suppose you're an astrologer you do consultations then you are uh, doing readings and a person says oh you said my lagna was taurus but i thought it was scorpio and you were like my god opposite 12 hours then you realize that oh i just took it am for pm or pm for am so these mistakes can be there and things like camera mobile all these things can go down like for example my mobile mercury is still not retrograde because i'm making this video on 16th 10 27 am but even during this time what has happened is i'm trying to send the what's in whatsapp my location to somebody one of my friend who is about to reach here but i'm not able to send everything else is going except that <laughs> whenever i try to send it it's not happening and i open any app it is not able to use the location i don't know why for some reason it is not happening then it can happen during these times that you book something and then you get a message that that thing that person is not coming only like in germany there's a system called blah blah car so i had booked a car blah blah car car from uh, magdeburg to paso on 24th of december and today they have given the message that the person is not coming so I have, you have to book another train or bus all right and this is when mercury is not yet retrograde remember maybe by the time you're watching this video mercury is <laughs> going to be retrograde okay so these things happen now another thing that will happen is you will contact old friends or old friends will contact you okay now these are general significations pertaining to mercury this will happen for every mercury retrograde the other thing will happen that will happen is the lordships of mercury which means whichever houses mercury is ruling in your chart so for example if you are a virgo lagna then mercury rules the lagna in the 10th house all right so depending on your ascendant the lordships of mercury they will undergo a new transformation a new beginning i would say because when mercury is retrograde it will then move back and it will be combust and then combustion means purification it's like saying that sun is giving you the light to recharge the battery recharge the fuel recharge the energy which is there so that there's something new which can come out because surya always has this state of purifying things so it can happen that if mercury is your fifth lord you can start thinking about your children or suddenly or uh, you may you may talk too much with your children that can happen if mercury is your ninth lord you can suddenly start talking to your guru it can happen if 10th lord then boss you know boss may send you a letter suddenly out of nowhere and you are like oh boss didn't say anything from three months now he has sent me a letter if it's the 11th lord then friends or elder siblings fourth lord then mother seventh lord relationships husband wife girlfriend boyfriend these things can happen if it's your second lord something to do with the family that can come out or that can go out okay and this is also generic for every mercury retrograde but now if we talk of the specifics because it's in the sign of scorpio here what happens is scorpio is the original eighth house is the hidden house so now mercury is communication so all the flaws which you are writing will come out so suppose you are writing things which you never meant then mercury will force you he will give you a situation where you have to speak the truth speak the truth doesn't mean that you are lying necessarily but you are hovering around the plane writing things in surface so that time mercury's retrogression will force you in a way that you tell the person it's not that way <laughs> it's this way actually 
or somebody else may end up telling that to you which you which you might have thought that oh my god it could have never happened but suddenly that happens all right so this can happen when mercury is retrograde in scorpio and because it is with jupiter as i said earlier in one of my videos that whenever jupiter mercury gets conjunct in transit people are always discussing about that house because jupiter represents expansion and mercury represents communication and sun is also there venus is in libra of course but mercury sun and jupiter are in scorpio so mercury is getting retrograde in jaystha nakshatra first pada and the direct motion will start from 3 degrees around which is fourth pada of vishakha nakshatra so when mercury is getting retrograde in jaystha nakshatra that time you that time you can get this feeling that the houses which mercury is ruling they are kind of trying to dominate upon you they are trying to dominate over you i would say for example if mercury is your fourth lord because jaystha is the nakshatra of domination which tries to subdue others all right so mercury is your fourth lord suppose so when mercury is getting 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 retrograde in jaystha then it can happen that your mother is trying to force things upon you it can happen if it's seventh lord then maybe your husband or wife is trying to force things on you and then it will enter anuradha again it had been in anuradha and now it had entered jaystha so when it goes retrograde from jaystha to anuradha that time you will see that whichever houses mercury is ruling you will become very much focused towards one thing you will you will have focus and you will be able to carry on with the difficulties which come regarding those houses which mercury is ruling depending on your dasha and transits because anuradha nakshatra has this symbol uh, lotus so lotus means what basically lotus uh, as they say that even if there are so many challenges and difficulties you will still be able to somehow or shine as they say shine necessarily not that you become a millionaire or you get married but you will be able to handle it or at least you don't get crushed or collapsed when mercury transits on radha that can happen and then the last when it enters vishakha for pada which is for very small time then it can happen that we are again having two roots in life because vishakha deals with choosing the ability to choose from multiple options so from that we go into anuradha where we get focus into one thing and in jaystha we want to show the world that we have achieved this thing in anuradha we are submissive we are like okay i have this i will work on this and when we are working then in jaystha we are like hey everybody look i got this this is mine all right and we have a tendency to tell the entire universe that i am the king in this area so when it transits to vishakha then again we can see that suppose mercury is ruling any particular house which obviously it will then suddenly we are uh, forced to make one one decision around this okay you will see that suppose mercury is your seventh lord so the moment it enters on uh, vishakha fourth pada on december 6th or 5th or around that time when it's stationing retrograde station then you will feel that related to relationships you are having two opinions maybe should i stay with this person or should i not stay with this person or anything like that anything in the dynamics of seventh house or uh, the person wants to go there you want to go here so then where do you go okay and then on 6 december it will again start the direct motion and then from fourth pada of vishakha you will enter anuradha again you will enter jaystha again these trades will happen but in a direct motion okay so during mercury retrograde we need to take care when we sign any document it can happen that the actually it happened with me last time uh, last to last time when mercury was retrograde i was supposed to stay with somebody and that is why i went to my hostel and said that i will not stay in this i don't need to stay here because i'll stay with my friend in a different city but then due to some reason that friend said that now uh, it will not be possible for me to stay there and that document i had signed during the mercury retrograde so i went to the hostel and said that hey madam i am sorry i cannot stay there because there is some problem in that place so i need to cancel that document so then the lady said no you can't cancel so before you sign any document you should be 10 times careful okay and if you are sending mails to some senior then take care that 
you are doing it properly otherwise it can happen that you are not sending it to somebody who you should send or you are not putting people in cc that can happen okay you put the uh, subject properly you put the attachment these things you need to put all right and anticipate some problems in gadgets these things can happen so if there actually there are problems do not appear in mercury retrograde problems reveal themselves which means they don't start the only thing happens in mercury retrograde is if there are if there is a problem in a gadget you will now totally be able to see it because the gadget may stop functioning all right so these are the things which will happen and there will be a lot of uh, uh, to some extent lot of discussion and lot of deliberation because of the presence of jupiter okay because jupiter is there in anuradha and in scorpio now so you will see that there's a lot of talk and discussion going on regarding mercury retrograde that will happen and as i said some things which you did not meant to say you said now you might have to suffer the repercussions for them okay because it's the sign of scorpio and whatever you did not mean and you just said now you have to test yourself mercury will put you in a test where you will actually see that oh you know i used to tell like this about this person but that's not the truth or i used to feel that that person is very good uh, that person is good but there are some problems you know <laughs> so it will depend on uh, which house mercury is ruling okay these are the ways uh, mercury retrograde is going to affect us and of course it will ultimately depend on the dasha that's the most important and your lagna which have a houses mercury is ruling they will have a new beginning and good luck i hope we survive mercury retrograde like we do every day okay not every day i mean <laughs> every three times in a year we do it three or four times okay so if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know about this mercury retrograde and if you want a consultation regarding this then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will see him and yes if you are new then please subscribe okay bye bye